Hello gang, hello friends, hello gang friends. Welcome back. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope this video finds you, stop it, finds you well. If you're new, hello. My name is Jo and I do nail stuff. She does stuff with nail stuff and the stuff she does with nails is done with nail stuff and stuff for nails. I'm doing the robot. Can you see? How are you all? I hope you're all having a fabulous day. We're starting this set with Birthday Suit, which is a gel perfection polish, and you can get all your gel perfection polishes at diamondglitters.co.uk, and you can use code TEAMDG for a little discount. Uh, I'm not curing that yet because I'm taking Popsicle. I didn't really need to do this bit, um, but here we are. Um, so you can just do the whole nail with the nude colour, but I'm adding the popsicle because I'm going to put glitter here and I'm going to do one nail that's got glitter all over and I'm going to put that on top of popsicle, so I thought we'll put it under this. You'll see in a sec. Uh, so I'm going to do a couple of coats of that and then I'm going to take the first base, which is a base coat. I'm going to do a thin coat over this. Not super duper thin, but not, but like between very thin and normal. Um, does that help? Uh, but I'm not curing it yet because I'm going to mix just a shit ton of glitters. I was in a glitter mixing kind of mood. So I mixed three glitters together and then I mixed another three glitters together and then I mixed those together. <laughs> I don't know why, but they all ended, ended up looking like this one, like Indian summer. But I, I had a good time in the process, so it wasn't a completely wasted, <laughs> wasted 20 minutes. Not that it took me 20 minutes to mix glitters. That was just a number I picked out of thin air. Uh, so here's some of the glitters. I'm going to pat this onto the wet, uncured base coat, and we're going to fade it up. So I just wanted the purple as kind of um, like just a background if there are any sort of gaps between bits of glitter. Um, once I've finished, then the purple's kind of got my back, you know, it's there. Um, and then I'm just patting around the sides to make sure it's all tucked in and I'll try and flatten it on top as much as possible because we will pop it in the lamp and then get it in the lamp. Come the fuck on, Bridget. And then I'm going to top it with super gloss. Super gloss. Guess what we've got today? We've got a lovers and haters. Yay. It's been a while, hasn't it? Um, but we do have a lovers and haters or more of a, a lovers and just, I don't know, miserable person. <laughs> But we have one, so we'll get to that um, in a little bit. I'll get it in the lamp. Have I? Right, that took a while, didn't it? Um, I'm going to buff and then top again with diamond gloss. Of course, of course. And that will be our first. Is that the first one? Yes. And then we will move on to the next one. It, it was the kind of mix I was going for, but it does look very much like like Indian summer, although with more turquoise. I'm going for a kind of purpley, turquoisey, mermaidy, cum, Arabian princess kind of thing. Um, okay, move it along. So then we are going to do birthday suit all over. I can't remember the order in which I've put these on here. That tip tapping, that's Dexter. Say hi, Dex. Dex. He's not interested, sorry. Um, I'm doing two coats of that. And then, oh yes, this one. So I wanted to do, this was inspired by, um, well, Alina Hoyo does a lot of this sort of thing, but this this one and the ombre nail are inspired by do, 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 Vo Tino. Um, if you've seen him on Instagram, you'll know that his work is amazing. Um, and I couldn't get the shape right and even, so I decided to map it out. So I just did a cross and then did, did some little diagonal lines and just thought if my swoop meets the diagonal line on both sides, it's probably as even as I'm going to get it. And then I'm going to fill that in. This is Alaska, the white. And then, oh, they're showing a replay of a tennis match. Okay, don't be distracted. Stop it, pay attention to the task at hand. And then I will cure that. I think I'm going to make it a bit longer, but now I've got my shape, I can um, just follow it and just do it sort of brush thickness either side and then it should stay as symmetrical as possible. You okay, baby boy? Aww, he's having a little lie down. And then we will cure it. And then we're going to do an ombre. Look how slowly I paint. <laughs> we're going to do an ombre of Popsicle and Tiffany. 
I think we're alone now. Was that her? I don't know. A bit before my time, I think. Um, and I, I, the way I do this ombre, oh my goodness, I paint so slowly. Would you just hurry up? Why don't I speed these things up? I really should start doing that more. <laughs> um, as I ombre them, I do them how I would do like a full nail ombre, just side to side with a detail brush. But I kind of wish, even though it's my least favorite way of doing an ombre, um, I'll put a link in the description to an ombre video actually. There's a, a bunch of different techniques. Um, I should have done it where you pull the top color down over the um, bottom color as opposed to blending side to side. I just think it would have been easier in this um, space that we're using. So if you if you like the sort of pull down from top to bottom technique, I would recommend doing that. But I didn't because, well, I just didn't. And once I started, I commit to going sideways. So once this is on, I'm not going to cure it. We will add the Tiffany and then we will ombre. If I ever get to the end of putting this purple on. I'm putting an extra bit across the middle just so that I've got enough to uh, ombre with and make that sort of middle colour. Uh, oh my goodness, they just switched from Wimbledon to Parliament Live. No, no, I would rather watch an empty court that is waiting for the rain to stop. <laughs> okay, we've switched back to some tennis. All is good in the world. Um, so I'm going to, I think I've sped this first coat up. Oh no, that's on, oh I don't know if I have or not. No, it doesn't look like I have. Um, so you can see purple to green, not the easiest ombre. The colour in the middle, it, if it was by itself, it would be a nice colour. But when you put it in the middle of these two colours, it kind of looks a bit, um, I don't know, not so great. So this is the first coat. Oh, I have sped that up. And then I'll do two coats of that. And then we will outline with Alaska. And then we'll do some little mermaid scales in between, which I think I do speed up, did speed up because I was just, I was on a bit of a go slow. This set took ages. I think it's because I was watching the tennis while it was on and I would stop every seven seconds and watch tennis for like two minutes. <laughs> so it took ages. Um, I was watching a, a lot of people actually wondered because of my last video where I had a bit of a rant about the tennis, about the BBC. Um, a few people seemed kind of surprised that anyone would be so enthusiastic about tennis. I am very enthusiastic, especially about Wimbledon. I absolutely love two weeks of Wimbledon. Um, and yeah, it's kind of, it's a big deal. But I suppose I understand that if you've never watched tennis, it you can just kind of assume it's a really boring sport. <gasps> it's not. It's edge of your seat, hurt your throat kind of stuff. Because I did hurt my throat the other day, screaming at the telly. Um... There was a match on, I'm talking about tennis again. I'm doing it again. It's Wimbledon. I've got two weeks off. I'm going to talk about tennis. Sorry. Um, I'm doing some mermaid things. You know, you know, you can get stamps for those actually if, if you don't want to um, hand paint them. But just make sure that the, where two join up in the, on one's right side and one's left side, that they join up in the middle of the dip, the sort of U shape of the one above. Um, I'm now taking, oh, it's, I can't talk about tennis now because I'm doing something else. That's not fair. Uh, I'm taking Super Base and I'm going to use that to adhere a little shell and a little crystal and then also some caviar beads. And then we will cure those in place. That Those crystals, I can't remember what they're called and the labels come off the pot, but they are from uh, Diamond Glitters. Um, and then we'll cure that. And I'm going to use Make It Velvet around, oh, I faffed about with this for a bit. Um, going to use Make It Velvet on the birthday suit section and then I'll cure it and I'm going to use Diamond Gloss, Diamond Gloss on the purpley green bit. I don't know why, I just felt like this set, I wanted it to have some matte and some shiny aspects. Um, anyway, who cares about that? Tennis. I was watching a match the other day with Sasha Zverev, who is, is Zver Zverev's German, I think. And he's a bit nice to look at. And he was playing a guy called Felix, uh, oh, what's his name? Felix Agaraliasim. He was also a bit dishy. As in, <laughs> as in, bit of a dish. As in, <laughs> a meal. As in, yummy. <laughs> I probably should have used a, a term that's used by people under the age. 
of 185. <laughs> but yeah, tennis isn't just about tennis. It's about spotting the hotties. A lot of hotties this year in the tennis. A lot of Italian hotties. But that's kind of normal anyway, isn't it? You just presume if a guy's Italian, he's going to be a bit of a smoke show. Um... I don't know why I thought I would be able to do voiceovers during Wimbledon. I'm just, my mind is so elsewhere. A client messaged me the other day about an appointment and I said, oh, that's that one. Yeah, it's quite cute. We'll move on to the next one. I said, um, I said, yeah, Monday the 19th, uh, like 8.45 in the morning or something. I thought, hang on a minute. There is no Monday the 19th in July and I definitely don't start work at 8.45. That's the middle of the goddamn night. Um, my mind is elsewhere I just can't so that's what's happening I've done a whole coat of popsicle nails and I've cured it I've just done one coat and then I'm going to do the same uh, thing with the glitter so I'm going to do base coat over all of it and then I'm going to cover it in glitter which normally on a person I would just kind of pour on them although this is a multi-mix most of these it's not, it's not a fine glitter so I do actually tend to pat this on otherwise you'll spend ages kind of trying to pat it down flat um, so that when you top it it's as flat as possible and if you do that by pouring on first then when you pat it down there's going to be so many bits that kind of stick out you know when you put a penny in the 2p machine and it pushes <laughs> it pushes into the big pile of 2p's and they all move and fall down the, the hole um yeah, the cute, the side walls is the hole and the the pressing down of the glitter is the penny press. This is a very, very, very bad metaphor. <laughs> Put it on with a brush if it's a multi-mix. Okay, done. I cured it. I pat it down so it was flat as possible. Not fat, flat as possible. And then cured it and then I'm topping it with super gloss. And then I will buff it and um, with, with a fine glitter when I super gloss you don't need to buff it but anything above that I like to give just a little buff oh goodness just in case there are any tiny pokey uppy bits um, so that will be nice and smooth and we can top that with diamond gloss of course of course and then that will go into the lamp and that will be that one done we like nice easy ones this was actually the last one I did because I thought what else shall I put and I thought I want more glitter so we'll just do a whole nail of glitter oh it's so pretty. I'm not sure if it's a bit dark for the rest of the set, but even if it was, it's still a, just a full on sparkly nail. So you can't really go wrong. And then we've seen it. And then we are taking Popsicle and Tiffany again. I'm going to do an ombre. I think I show you the first and third coat. I did three coats of this because I just wasn't happy with the blend. Because the blend is difficult with colors that don't don't blend well, obviously. Um, then I, I did three coats just to each coat underneath has kind of got your back, you know, you do a blend and then where you've got a blend underneath, it makes the next coat look better. So whilst we're doing an ombre, let's have an episode, a long awaited, it's been a while, an episode of Lovers and Haters. Lovers and Haters, Lovers and Haters. Our first lover of the day is... Country Fallen Diamond she says, Hello, Joe. I love your artwork and your accent is everything, <laughs> along with your sense of humour. Keep nailing. Thank you for my undeserved compliments. <laughs> um, my accent, the most boring accent in the world. It just is. It just, it's just, it's just English. There's, I mean, there's a lot of different, um, obviously, accents in England, in, in the UK, and mine is the most boring. It's just the word. It's just the word said how it's meant to be said. That came across wrong. You know what I mean. <laughs> Everyone else is saying it all wrong. Um, but yes, uh, that was an old. That was an old screenshot of a message of a of a lover comment, and I felt bad that I hadn't used it. Or oh, hang on, have I used it before? <laughs> we'll have a hater, and then we'll have another lover, shall we? So our <laughs> our hater comment was from oh no I don't say the name do I kind of wish I did sometimes but I, I'm not that person well any anymore <laughs> I used to say their name but I thought that might give me some bad karma uh, so our message said great video but the laughing is very distracting <laughs> uh, that's a pretty poor concentration level 
they've got there, I think. I mean, it's a, vi it's a visual thing. You're going to learn a lot more from watching the video with your eyeballs than listening to any of my voiceovers, I assure you. Or maybe when they hear laughing, they have to shut their eyes. Maybe it's just kind of a weird, you know, can't look, I just stop laughing, shut my eyes, can't see anything. Maybe that's, maybe that's why. <laughs> but either way, they uh, thought it necessary to make it apparent to everybody in the comments that they're just no fun. <laughs> oh, well. Um, we'll have another lover in a minute. Will it be you? I don't know yet. Um, I'm going to wipe and buff that nail because we're going to add some glitter. I'm taking champagne toast and I now wish that I'd just left it as just this, like done a couple of coats of that. But what I did was cured this and then I went over it with some base coat. The reason I put this down first, I did try to do just a clear strip with the base coat but I, I it just wasn't happening for me I think I need the color to kind of see where I'm going better and this will act as the sort of backbone for our glitter um, so that if there are any gaps which there probably wouldn't be in a strip this thin but if there were then it's covered with um, by the gold so that was cured and now I've got to start breathing properly. I say this all the time. I still take one deep breath and try and do the whole voiceover. <laughs> um, so I've cured the gold and I'm doing some base coat. I haven't cured it. I'm going to pour the glitter over and then I'll neaten up either side with um, a cuticle stick, I think, just to make sure it's crisp and then cure it. And then I wasn't sure, <laughs> I wasn't sure whether to just see I, oh, I think it's too thick that line I shouldn't have done it with the loose glitter I should have just left it as a sparkly gold line but I don't know when they're all together it kind of looks all right um I lost my train of thought I don't know what I was saying uh, oh yes I didn't know whether to do top coat just either side and leave the glitter raw in the middle but round about here I decide no just just do the whole thing um so I'll go over that and had I had had I planned to do that first I would have used super gloss and then given a buff and top with diamond gloss but this is diamond gloss so I just made sure there was enough down over that glitter so that when we buff it we're not taking off too much when you buff a, a hollow glitter it doesn't matter if you take you know the lumpy bumpy bits off the pokey uppy bits because you've got hollow so you've got all these colors reflecting whereas if it's a metallic glitter that's just one color and it's not silver, when you buff a chunkier or anything that's sort of not fine, plain color glitter, you will get silver flecks in it where you take off the pokey up bits and it takes the color off that bit of glitter and you're left with sort of silver. Um, so that's always worth noting. If ever I do a, a metallic, plain color metallic glitter that needs buffing, it's always a bit of a worry. Um, so, but, but super gloss is great for that because you don't get left with, um, many pokey uppy bits. Uh, did we show that one? Did that one finish? Wasn't, I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> um, I've done coat, two coats of, uh, birthday suit and I'm putting a coat of super base over the whole nail. Oh yeah, I'm, do I'm doing some crystals. Well, and some shells. Uh, we've established I'm no good at crystal placement or patterns or I mean I'm, I can do them I can put them on the nail that's fine but thinking of patterns and designs for it I'm just useless so this was just let's just chuck a load on see what happens and it'll look like what it looks like but I should have maybe done them one by one because they were just moving around that one on the right ask me about that one on the right what about that one on the right I don't want to talk about it it was being a bastard um, so it's just kept falling off so I stuck that on at the end um, yeah just making this <laughs> this up as I went along I can't tell if it looks really cool or if it just looks like a disaster it looks a little bit like that famous totem pole also a little bit like the medical alert bracelet logo emblem thing <laughs> That, that was not my intention, um, but that's what I think it looked. Now that's all I can see. Um, so I, because they were all moving around so much, I cured it and then added a bit more of the super base where I wanted to put some caviar beads. Is it cool? 
is it a mess? <laughs> I'm so undecided. It's Marmite. Uh, I think you'll either like that or think it's fucking ridiculous. Uh, but it's lots of shells and crystals and uh, that's all there is to say about it, really. I'm so bad at doing these patterns. I'm going to go around everything with Make It Velvet. I'm going to get in all the nooks and crannies. Well, not obviously covering the um, crystals or the shells but get into the sort of gaps between them all and then try and finish on a downward stroke, which I would do regardless of whether we were using matte velvet or a shiny top coat, just so you kind of get a, a nice smooth finish, uh, making sure it's all sealed in at the top. The more I look at it, the more I like it, but I might, <laughs> I might just be convincing myself that it's not horrendous. <laughs> Let me know. Um, one more lover, quickly, before we reach the end. Um, we had a message from Chani who said, watching your vids as a new subscriber and you've inspired me so much when it comes to nail art as I tend to overthink it all. Samesies, samesies. She also enjoy <laughs> enjoys the colorful language, so that's just fucking great. Um, and here is the finished set. What do you think? I hope you like them. Let me know what kind of vibes this gives you. I was going for Arabian mermaid princess <laughs> i wasn't really i was going for let's make this shit up as we go um i hope you like it let me know what you think in the comments below come and say hello thank you so much for being here subscribe for lots more videos and you can follow me on instagram at miss joe's nail co i appreciate you all so much and i will see you in the next one bye, -bye.